Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 832. Now, this episode right here was pretty cool. Not too bad. Looking forward to more, and I can't wait to see more of the scenes adapted because of what's about to, about to happen. So, if anything else, if this recap becomes very short, please forgive me. There's nothing much I can really summarize in a certain sense, despite certain filler scenes. So, if anything else, let's begin. We have to it that um, Sanji and Pudding are on the way to their location while Strususen, that head chef whatsoever, reveals the wedding cake that he has been singing all this time and it becomes absolutely delicious. Looks really good honestly. Even I want to taste that myself for dessert <laughs> after every meal. And we have to it that um, eventually everyone else is just waiting for the bloodbath to begin. That's Big Mom's children. They're just like, oh, I can't wait to shoot you, Vin Smoke family, etc. But eventually, when Sanji was getting ready for the kiss, but before I get to that scene, Jinbei is trying to wake Luffy up, apparently, and the only way to wake him up is by giving him the meat smell, etc. And so forth. And, of course, let's get to the part where Sanji's about to make the kiss. Apparently... He sees the third eye of Pudding, and he says it's beautiful, and says, I'm sorry, I mean, the moment I looked at that thing, I mean, it's so, so beautiful. This made Pudding drop her gun, and made her break down into tears, because she remembers her horrifying past, where her mother called her a freak, and says, grow out your bangs so no one can see it, and when it comes to, like, um... Other children as well, especially adults and other people, they say that she's a freak and then she ends up being bullied and say that she's a monster, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really terrifying. And we have to it that Pudding becomes who she is today and ends up trying to kill anyone who ever would try to make fun of her and tries and makes her, an makes her look like an idiot. And therefore, Pudding freaking tries to remember and tries to get onto a plan, but she can't stop crying because... In her entire life, no one ever, ever says that her third eye was beautiful. And we have to it that her siblings are like, What the hell are you doing, Pudding? You're supposed to shoot, shoot, shoot Sanji. What are you doing? And we have to it that Big Mom's like, What are you doing, Pudding? And knowing that's taking too long, Big Mom says, Do it, fa do it, please kill him. And therefore, he brings out a gun, but Katakuri sees the future, and honestly, Katakuri did see the future where Pudding broke down crying, and he goes like, why are you on the floor? He ends up seeing another future where the priest will miss his shot on Sanji, and he and Katakuri, the man who sees the future, tries to shoot a jelly bean at Sanji, but it doesn't work, and the priest ends up getting shot instead and shoots in the mid-air. And Katakuri's like, frick, you does that too? And we have to it that... Big Mom asks Katakuri what's going on, and Katakuri says, We have bigger problems than this, Mama. Even I cannot even stop it. I go like, Well, even the man who sees into the future cannot stop everything by interfering, huh? And we have to it that Luffy and everyone else gets ready to go into the tea party, but Luffy's biggest plan was having multiple multiples of him and ends up entering the tea party inside the cake and destroying it and screams out Big Mom and everyone could only go into shock right now and Big Mom could only go into great shock and all go like, what the hell dude <laughs> as she sees Luffy and the wedding cake destroyed <laughs> so yeah um this episode right here really cool and we get to know more about Pudding why she acts where she is today because her third eye and people treating her as a freak etc and even her mom calls her a freak and Sanji the only person that ever is the only person in her entire life to say that her third eye was beautiful. And of course, Luffy comes in after the after gunshot was was signaled and destroys the wedding cake, etc. And with a bunch of clones coming out, etc. I go like, oh man, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> Looking forward to the next one. I mean Preview the next episode, those of you guys who watched it to the end, I'm not going to say it here because I'm looking forward to it greatly. Even though if it's going to take the entire episode, that's fine because I look forward to it. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!